Can you first also let me just cut up on that? They, can you take up this to show that how these, these books are made available to the students? Don't bother if they're taking their home. Don't bother even if it's uh, damaged. We can have some more books. But students should be allowed to have those books and start reading. You might have noticed that some of the students are good at reading and the peer group reading. I mean, suppose the child is able to read and he can read. So he can teach reading or a child who is not that good at reading, they can take the support of those students. So it spontaneously developed inside the classroom. Why did it give a free environment? So students used to go to the child and they ask. So that sort of peer group learning for reading has to be. So it has to be very clear in the mind of the teacher that uh, reading, speaking, speaking means narration of uh, certain event, stories, uh, all this should be a uh, complete part of the learning. Sometimes role play, dramatization. Students should be able to uh, frame their own dialogues. Then, suppose an interesting event has happened. So you may ask them what has happened, what has happened. They will say, they will come up, come up with many uh, sentences, maybe a, uh, many things that they, they would like to say. Now you can develop uh, a, a sort of uh, narration and there could be a role play on it. There could be a dramatization of it. Not necessarily that from textbook only we can do it. We can do it even from their own life. They have seen something and they have presented something and we should allow them to. Uh, so that is also one of the uh, very important aspects. Other, there are many studies which have shown that if the student comes from their home, they narrate their events at home, they uh, come out with some ideas, whatever uh, they have learned from their parents or from their grandparents, or whatever they have seen in their surrounding, or any event that's happening that has taken place this Wednesday during the half time, all these things should be allowed to not in classroom situation, their free narration can be. So all this will make uh, a very important uh, part of your So these are some of the thoughts which came to my mind. Uh, uh, I thought that I would share with you. Uh, because unless you provide the freedom at the initial stage, I'm not talking about student of 9th and 10th who gives us freedom. But in primary classes, these freedoms are very, very important. Rather, these are the backbone of uh, learning. What has happened? We have dealt the primary classes uh, uh, Repository. on the similar footing as we have been dealing 9, 10, 11. These students have to appear in some competition of engineering or meat or something. There is an objective sort of question answer. Why a primary child should be exposed to objective learning? What me point? Now, at the initial stage, they are developing their knowledge, they are developing their speaking skill, uh, they are reading comprehension. They should be allowed to speak more, they should be allowed to read more, and uh, ask them to recite number of poems they can, far from their text. Even in their local language also they can, uh, they can recite it. And then you can translate it in English or in Hindi, whichever language. So that sort of thing has to be. So if you understand this idea, based on this idea, uh, you can uh, further develop your classroom. So developing a classroom activity is a very uh, very crucial thing, which, is, which we call normally in this lesson plan. So that is a very specific kind of thing, has to be very customized for a particular class. That I understand and for which you are the expert, you know how to be so this is all I wanted to say. I am sorry that I am a bit late today because I was under the impression that it is going to start from class at 10 o'clock. 
So I have uh, agreed. I convey my I convey my best wishes to all of you, and I hope that today's interaction uh, will be very fruitful and it will come out with proper plan. And these plans will go to your classroom, and it will be actually implemented and help in the hard time. Thank you very much. We can uh, we can clap and thank Dr. Sir. I can show that demo video. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. And uh, we are totally going to give them freedom of expression and story narration and the pair work, peer work, what you said. These are the areas we are going to explore and uh, give in detail to the uh, participants. And uh, we already had a pre -read, uh, pre reading some warm up activities in which uh, most, uh, many of the participants took an active part. And uh, now I would just want the, uh, with your kind permission, sir, the resource persons to introduce. They know me, I'm the principal of uh, KV Science, Jenny James, but they're not very familiar with the resource person. So just two, two minutes they will take and they will begin the session. Okay, sir. Yeah, Preeti, you can introduce yourself. Thank you very much, ma'am. Uh, before that, uh, ma'am, with uh, your, with the permission of uh, uh, respected uh, Dr. Jadeep Dasar, Deputy Commissioner, KVS Ahmedabad Region, and your kind permission, ma'am, uh, uh, can we have a group photograph with the participants yeah. along with? Sir? I request, uh, I request all of you to please switch on the cameras and switch off the mics. Mute the mics, please. <laughs> 